Hey everybody, Kevin Elliott here with Home Dabbler. Look what I have. I have baby chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's time for spring chickens. We get a load of them uh, every year. You can probably see them right in there. This little beauty right here is about two months old now. This is a little buff Orpington chick, a pullet we call it. It's a female chick. Um, and I thought that I would give you a little tour of my nursery and kind of explain a few things that baby chicks need that the big hens do not need, okay? Things that you have to give them when they're young for about the first three months to make sure they're healthy, make sure they're safe, make sure they're gonna acclimate well into your larger flock. The first thing is food. Um, baby chicks need different food than your bigger chickens do. And it's called starter crumbles, okay? Little crumbles of just the right mix for the babies. It has a different protein mix and nutrient mix than say the layer pellets that you give to your laying chickens. Because of course, those chickens are making eggs. They need different nutrients. These little guys right here just need protein to get big and strong and healthy. Second thing is they need a heat lamp. Now these little guys are used to, if they had their mama with them, uh, they would be piled under her as much as possible. They would stay really hot, really stifling. They like to stay about 95 degrees if they can. So especially on cool nights in the springtime, you need to provide a heat lamp for them. Now, here's a little trick about the heat lamp. Um, here's how you know if it's too hot inside your, your little nursery or it's not hot enough, okay? Put the heat lamp in there and if the chicks congregate under the heat lamp, if they're like balled up in a big pile, you know they're cold, okay? They're, they're chilly, they need, you need to warm them up a little bit. If you see them spread out or like huddling in another corner away from the heat lamp, you know it's too hot in there. Move the heat lamp up a little bit and let things cool down some. Okay, so that's a little that's a little heat lamp pro tip. Once it gets summertime and it gets really warm, don't worry so much about it. They'll be okay. The third thing is that the little guys need isolation, complete isolation from the rest of your coop and also from predators. So you'll notice I have this separate little box over here just for my babies. My big girls will walk around here on the run and then they also sleep right here next door. You'll notice this tiny little wire that keeps snakes out. It keeps all kinds of predators out of here. The other thing that isolation does is the little ones need to be separate from your bigger flock for a few months. Don't just throw little ones into general population with all of your bigger hens. Um, they can be bullies and they'll push them around and sometimes they'll injure those babies. So the question is, when can I put them out in with general population? These girls are getting pretty close, okay? You can see that she pretty much looks like a, you know, a, like a miniature chicken. She's not, she's no longer a chick anymore, but she's still kind of small. They're still really defenseless. And also they, they can get through my fencing of my run and they can pop out into the garden and run out into the yard. So usually about mm, four months is when we let ours loose out into the general population. So give them those three things. Give them layer crumbles, give them a heat lamp, and give them total isolation in their own space, away from the larger flock and away from predators, and you'll have happy, healthy chicks. As always, if you need help, message me through the Facebook page, or you can go to my blog, homedabbler.com. I have an entire page dedicated to chickens. Homedabbler.com slash chickens. Read those articles there. If there's something there you can't find, send me a message and let me know. I'll write an article, I'll do a video. Have happy, healthy spring chickens. Thanks.